Okay, so here we are with another food review. And today we're going to be reviewing Boca's original vegan veggie burgers. Now, are these going to be like traditional veggie burgers or are they going to be um, like the, the, the protein substitute burgers that, that we've been trying? Uh, <clears throat> there's a bit of a question about that because uh, Boca, first of all, is part of the Kraft Foods family. Okay. Um, and this burger is made with, uh, with uh, soy protein. And the way they bill it on their website is that it has the bite of a real burger, but it's packed with veggie protein. Okay. The picture that accompanies it definitely looks like a burger. So I think they're kind of trying to get both markets, you know. And I don't know how long they've been advertising it like that. The photo on the definitely does not look like a burger. It, it looks like your... Well, it's shaped like a burger, yeah. but the color is nothing like a burger. Yeah, it looks like your traditional veggie burger kind of thing, you know? So they kind of... Still, well, they're, they're light colored, all right, but... They're very light, but they are like shaped burgers. and they do have grill marks. Yeah. So... This says to put it up to medium with a non-stick, medium on a non-stick pan with a little bit of cooking spray. Now, I don't have cooking spray, but I do have just a little bit of oil. With a clean cloth. Four, eight to ten minutes. It doesn't say anything about flipping, but I'm assuming that we're going to have to flip these at some point. Oh, they're not, uh, not really striped on the back, only on one side. Have a nice sizzle. Yeah, well, that's the water. I think that's yeah. the condensation. Should I do four? I'm hungry, huh? Yeah. We don't have bread today, so we'll be using lettuce. Although I'm, I'm pretty sure the guinea pig is the guinea pig is going to be very upset that we're using his lettuce for our burger. So let's uh, see how how well it does in five minutes. Mm -hmm. I think it says about ten to twelve minutes. Well, it says eight. It says on the package. So after five minutes, I'll flip it over and see. Yeah, let's take a look at the pack here. Give people a look at it. There's no significant scent off it. No. I suppose I should stop touching the food now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound nice. It does. And they do look like burgers. They're a little light in colour, but I definitely do um, have a look of burgers. I'm loving trying all these, uh, you know, alternatives oh. to, to red meat. It's, it's Absolutely, really great. and we still have, let's see. 
still have Morning Star's bacon strips. And then we also have the veggie tuna. Vegan tuna to try. So these will be our next uh, these will be our next adventures. Our next videos, yeah. The bacon would be interesting. We've already tried one um, vegan bacon and it was really kind of tasty. I'm not sure if it tasted like bacon, but it had that, you know, you want more. You know, the fatty when you, look yeah. and, the, and the, salty, the saltiness yeah. and you know when you when you try bacon, you know, you mm -hmm. you just don't want to stop eating it. And it definitely had that effect. so hard for me not to fiddle with the food. I'm so used to fiddling with the food while it cooks. <laughs> well, these shouldn't stick this time because we're using a non-stick pan, so yeah. we're going to have to see. Two minutes and counting. I'm afraid I cannot cook your food, Dave. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. There's something wrong with the burger. I'm going to have to eat it for you. <laughs> I wonder if a robot would have a preference. To a veggie burger or a real burger? Probably neither because a robot wouldn't need to eat. What? What an AI? Yeah, okay, you know. Okay, an android. An android. Um, Self processing android. I don't know, I presume. Data had a few preferences. But it was not based on what he felt was scientifically more. Um, and I think he felt that was more emotionally involved. Nutritious? Well, the, well, nutritious for his cat. Yeah. Well, when Whoopi Goldberg made him a drink, he preferred the tequila sunrise type drinks. Yeah. Because he thought it was pretty. Yeah. And visually, we definitely look at food visually. Yeah, definitely. That's the reason why people are against eating insects, even though they're a good source of protein. It does smell, it's starting to smell good. It, yeah, kind of toasty. Yeah, a little toasty. Yeah. Yeah, it smells nice. Really nice. Mm. Mm. Well, that definitely doesn't look like a burger. Ah. And it does look toasted. I don't want to... I don't want to lose it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like toast. Doesn't it? It does. It does. Visually, it looks like a bread burger. Hope the camera picks that up. And it's curling. Which some some burgers do that. Yeah, most most <coughs> lean burgers do that. Very lean burgers will curl. Yeah. There's definitely not much fat in this at no. all. Well, there wouldn't be any animal fat in it anyway, but it'd probably just, I don't know, vegetable oil, olive oil or something. What does it say is in it? It's 
see. <clears throat> There's water, soy protein concentrate, wheat gluten. Uh, so yeah, there's there's definitely some uh, allergenic methyl cellulose. I have no idea what that is. I think that's that's to keep the burger from falling apart. Salt, caramel color, dried onion, yeast extract, sesame oil, hydrolyzed wheat protein, natural and artificial flavors, non-meat. So they went to an extent to provide non-meat flavors. Okay. Disodium guanolate and disodium inosinate hmm. contains soy wheat and sesame. Definitely not hypoallergenic. Yeah. And probably produced in a facility with the uh, with peanuts. <clears throat> Why do you say that? Because generally, uh, when you have um, a, a facility cooking items like this that has um, wheat. Yeah. And allergenic components. Usually, they'll just they'll produce uh, stuff with peanuts in the same in same, the same place. facility. Well, the hissing has calmed down a lot, and it's still on medium. Wouldn't it have a warning in the box stuff? It was. <sighs> well, they're not required to have it on the box. It's a nicety for some places. Okay. They do need to list, you know, list the ingredients. Fat has been reduced from 11 grams to half a gram per serving. I don't know, reduced from a previous Boca burger? Probably. Hmm. Or reduced from just a regular beef burger itself. Baby. Giving them lettuce? I'm giving them the limp pieces. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely a very toasty smell of that. Yeah. They're very dry, very, very dry. They do look extremely dry. If you try to cook that on a regular pan, like say this one. Yeah, you'd wind up with mush. You would just mush, it would just completely stick to it, even with oil, I, I would think. Done. That's nine minutes. So, let's see. Yeah, they, they look very firm. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a very firm bird. I'll have a taste. It looks like a bread burger. color change on the inside at all. Can you see it? Uh, just about. It's quite dark there for oh, some reason. Here. I don't know. I can move it into the light. <sighs> yeah, let's get a good look at this.
It almost looks like bread, doesn't it? It's almost, very light and it in colour. It cuts very easily. Yeah. It doesn't have a... Mm. It is pretty dry. Mm. Not meaty, but it's not offensive. It's not... It's not completely veggie, but it's not completely meat. It's not really offensive. It's so it's kind it's of kind of blah. Yeah. Yeah, let me. Yeah, it looks like bread to me. It has like a charcoaly smell to it after That's being cooked. Taste to it. <clears throat> Edible, but yeah, right. It's like um, <clears throat> barbecued bread, or a, a bit like French toast. Texture is meaty, but it's definitely not up there with um the real red meat alternatives that are now coming out. Um, nice though, it's not It's not terrible, I'd eat it again, would you? Um, I'd eat it again, if it wasn't too expensive, and Boca seems to be some of the fairly least expensive on the market right now. Yeah. And of course, you can add any number of things to this um, that would go well, um, for anything from salsa to normal ketchup and, and mustard. Yeah, uh, vegan mayonnaise, mm -hmm. you know, that's your thing. Um, you know, I'd say that'd be nice as, you know, like a breakfast type thing, a breakfast Like a breakfast burger. sausage? Yeah, mm. an alternative to a breakfast sausage. You can't argue if you need a low-fat diet, you can't argue with this. No. Um, a half a gram per, a half a gram of fat per, per patty. For serving. Which is nothing. And they are tasty. They, I mean, they don't taste like a burger. No, it doesn't but taste they are like kind a burger, of but it, the texture and, is very similar to a burger. It is. And they are tasty. Okay, so thanks for watching. This is our quick review of the Boca Original Vegan Veggie Burgers. Definitely head out and try it. It's worth buying once. At least. At least. Yeah. Have a good one.